The component I'll be creating is a flat pattern for a routing shape. So because we're going to do a flat pattern, I'm going to create this in a top view. So we'll go to the camera, standard views, and select top view. Next I'll throw in some guidelines so I can create this part. And we'll go up an eighth of an inch. And we'll go up a quarter of an inch. And we'll go over 5 sixteenths. Throw in a guideline at zero. And we'll draw this part in. That's the cutout for the top of the side on the style on the rail. Now we will take couple more guidelines will go up three-eighths of an inch and we'll go five-eighths of an inch throw in a guideline at zero and we'll get one at seven-sixteenths of an inch Put a rectangle there. Next we'll delete the guidelines. Don't need those any longer. Zoom to fit all. Before we save this, I want to go into Window and collect, uh, select the model information. Under File and Description, we want to type in a description of what this part will be. This is a molding shape for a style rail frame construction style side and we can save this I'm going to save this in a temporary location on my desktop because we're going to move it in a minute I'm going to call this molding shape comma style now that I've got that saved, I want to close SketchUp. And I have Explorer here. I want to browse to the location that SketchUp stores the guide uh, the uh, components in. So we're going to go to the Programs folder. And from there we will go to the Google folder and SketchUp 7 and Components. Inside this folder, I've created a folder called My Components that I'm going to store the components that I create in. Open that folder, and I'm going to drag this component that I just created, the SketchUp file, and I'm going to move it into that folder. And now that, fo uh, that component will be available for future use. You want to do the same thing to the other two components that are defined in the lesson.